away his Jackie class and made him Put it out! Here's our queen of flight, Miss Jackie Cochran. <laughs> the Women's Pilot Association. Blood rushed to my head. What is every day when she's Amelia Earhart? Ah! Fastest Woman Alive is about the life of Jacqueline Cochran, who was the first woman to break the sound barrier, and just sort of an all-around incredible gal. And the people that came in and out of her life, and how they affected her. Ballsy, obnoxious, boisterous spirit. She wants about 500 flight hours. How many women can afford that? Calm down! It's all over the place, and it's, it's hard to sit down and just read it and completely understand it. I remember reading it the first time, and I was like, how are we going to do this? We started with table work, and we realized that this woman is someone who just blames herself for everything that's ever gone wrong in her life. It's a playing historical figure, someone who is a real person. And so it's scary, but at the same time, it's it's really exciting. You know, this is a real guy. He was a man just like I am. So part of me has like this little bit of anxiety of, oh, what if I, you know, portray Chuck in a way that's not real to life. I mean, the audience most likely won't know, but it's important to me as an actor that I'm as truthful in my portrayal as possible. It's difficult to kind of find that line between I don't want it to be an imitator, I don't want to imitate Jaeger, I want the world to be authentically mine, but at the same time I want it to be, you know, I want the audience to see Chuck Jaeger up there walking around, you know, so. And I portray one of the wasps, that's my first character, uh, that was the association she started, the Women's Air Force Service Pilots. Sound up! W-A-S-P, Women's Air Force Service Pilots, the wasp, the wasp, the wasp! Uh, wasp training for it is kind of like the show is. Like, there's really funny moments, there's really serious moments, uh, there's really dramatic moments. It's pretty much like every genre. I know you're special. Spotted you the second you came in. But another fear was just as high. You are the of having sympathy for this character and finding ways for the audience to, you know, kind of feel bad for her at some times, but also really hate her at other times. Because that's kind of the balance that you have to have and feel for her. I drew from who Dora Doherty was as a person, but I also drew from, from other sources to sort of create a character. Each of the wasps kind of represent multiple wasps. We've got five girls portraying thousands. So, um... I encompassed some of Dora and then sort of pulled in some other so stuff as well. So it's I, been a little bit difficult just kind of embracing the way uh, Karen chooses to, you know, write characters in the script and the way it jumps from one thing to the other. But now that we're kind of putting those transitions together, everything's running smoothly and beautifully. Just recently especially, there's just been this rapid kind of jump to the next level, uh, which has been really exciting and to I decide. Think that after reading it from the first time and kind of being worried about it, and now being in the middle of rehearsals and going up and down into my own little roller coaster, I think we have a good show. I think we have something coming. Don't you dare say you told me so. Did you hear about the B-26 Marauder fighter hot twin engine needs second by second? I thought they did an excellent job. It was really, really great. Really beautifully active. Great atmosphere, really touching. I cried like four times. Oh. It was great. It was really great. I was really impressed. I wanted more. There was only like, like five minutes long. It was great. Uh, it was much more sad than I remember it being, and it even made me cry at one point.